At this month's meeting of the Niti Aayog's governing council, chaired by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, chief ministers of some non-BJP ruled states reiterated their demand to extend the GST compensation cess regime for another 5 years. According to a working paper by the National Institute of Public Finance and Policy, Punjab, Goa and Chhattisgarh may face the most revenue stress once the compensation regime ends. But the center remained non-committal. There was no word on it even after the previous GST council meeting in June, which had coincided with the completion of 5 years of the GST regime. As many as 16 states spoke on the compensation, with some pitching for extension of at least a few years, if not for 5 years. The GST compensation mechanism was designed to make up for the loss of states as revenue on account of the regime's implementation 5 years ago. The 5 year compensation period ended in June this year. The goods and services tax collections have remained upbeat for the past few months, staying above rupees 1.4 trillion for 5 straight months ending July. In fact, July's collection was the second highest since the rollout of the indirect tax regime. The strong GST collections could weaken the state's demand to extend the compensation beyond June 2022. Former Finance Secretary Hasmukh Adia in a recent interview with the Business Daily said that if the compensation is continued for too long, it will act as a disincentive in increasing collections and lead to laxity of state bureaucracy. The center also said it had already cleared arrears worth rupees 85000 crore and will front load the remaining so that states don't face any cash flow problem. Even if the compensation were to be extended, there is the question of how it would be funded. So the GST compensation cess will be levied till 2026 it will only be used to repay the GST compensation cess shortfall that arose in the last 2 years due to the pandemic the center had borrowed rupees 1.1 trillion in 2020-21 and rupees 1.59 trillion in 2021-22 in loans from the market to provide compensation to cess the GST collection especially in the last 5 months or so has been very very robust and when gst collections are robust they are robust not only for the central government they are also robust for the state government now there could be a need for states requiring more finances to fund their development schemes all states have also had significant healthcare costs on account of the two years of you know pandemic so there may be a genuine need for states to have more funds at their disposal to fund various development schemes and healthcare schemes and others but the need for more funds may not necessitate an extension of the compensation cess period because as i said earlier look one the collections are upbeat second for businesses the compensation cess period is already extended till 2026 so if now the compensation cess period for the states is extended by let's say 2 years that means for businesses it gets extended till 2028 or 29 which possibly businesses have not bargained even all businesses which were subjected to compensation cess all products which were subjected to compensation cess did their planning and pricing on the basis that this is a tax for 5 years and it will come to an end in june 2022 now it has been extended for 4 years you know from that date so i would ideally say that from a business perspective it should not be extended further at all on the other hand some states argue that their finances have not recovered yet from the pandemic states as revenue receipts declined by 0.6% in FY21 and a similar decline was seen in FY20 a recent RBI report highlighted that states as fiscal positions deteriorated sharply in 2020 and there are warning signs of building stress states relied on compensation to achieve 23% of the guaranteed revenue in 2019-20 and 36% in 2020-21 then there's also the question of whether the gst regime has helped in incremental revenue for states according to an india ratings report the state's gst on an average grew by 6.7% during fy18 to fy21 lower than the 9.8% growth recorded by the taxes subsumed under gst during fy14 to fy17 During FY19 to FY22, Odisha was the only state having average SGST collection exceeding 14%, with a total of 17 major states recording average SGST growth of below 10%.
the report said the compensation was promised based on the assumption that the state's gst growth rate will be 14% in the base year of 2015-16 so does this warrant for a compensation extension here's what nr bhanu murthy vice chancellor of the br ambedkar school of economics university has to say uh, you know what we see in the recent trends uh, like uh, increase in gst collections maybe a, a kind of um, uh, aberration in a way uh, where uh, this increase is largely due to an increase in the buoyancy of uh, gst tax so that may be showing up in the overall collection but um, it still um, puts a dent on the state fiscal positions um, you know compared to what is promised uh, that 14% um, you know growth in overall gst so there is uh, in fact there are somebody estimated that is almost some 30% dent on the overall revenues for the states so i think given that kind of situation there is a need for the central government to hand on uh, the states uh, at least for a few a few more months or few more quarters uh, but i am not certainly saying that uh, we should continue for five years or so. clearly experts say there is no case for extension of compensation for another five year period but states need some support at least for a few more months In return, state tax officers also need to be vigilant to check evasions and further improve GST realizations to move away from compensation support once and for all. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. यार मत पूछ यार फिर से स्टॉक्स में फंस गया तो स्टॉक्स के साथ बॉन्ड्स इंश्योरेंस गोल्ड में बैलेंस कर इसमें बहुत तामचाम है तुझे फाइव पैसा नहीं पता अब तो सबको पता है फाइव पैसा है ऑल इन वन अकाउंट डाउनलोड फाइव पैसा ना अब तो सबको पता है Investing made easy and rewarding with Five Paisa. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.